Hello, uh, in this uh, video uh, or this series of videos, we're going to show uh, the programming using uh, Java APIs, Application Programming uh, Interface. Uh, before we start, uh, we have to highlight that if you want to find out the packages that you can use uh, in Java, of course, uh, you can go uh, to the site which tells you all the details, this one right here. Uh, and here are the packages for the API. Of course, here they are. Uh, we're going to highlight uh, in these uh, examples or tutorials two types. Uh, both of them belong actually to uh, Java uh, utilities, uh, which comes under, uh, I shall find it here, Java util. So if I click on here on any one of these, you can see on the list all the classes you can you can use. However, uh, we're going to choose uh, only two of them uh, in this this course. But we can, uh, as we go along, we go learn more. One of them is going to be the array list, which is going to be the second part. This is uh, when you have an array of uh, objects, of course, extendable uh, or expandable. They start with zero, you can add and you can remove from there. And the other one we're going to use, which is very useful, is how to read uh, from uh, the keyboard. So this is a uh, Java API as well. Uh, it's called, the class is called uh, Scanner. Uh, so we're going to use these two uh, different uh, different parts. Uh, so of course, on here, I'm going to use uh, the scanner uh, first. So the first thing you do, uh, let's create a class here. Uh, so this class, of course, you can create a package if you want. Uh, I'm going to call the class as uh, reading uh, from a keyboard. You can call it any name you want. That's it. Uh, of course, public. Uh, I'm going to make a very simple program. Uh, of course, you can uh, put this public static void main, or uh, you can uh, create yourself. So if I can finish, uh, that's been created for me in here. Uh, of course, I remove this in here. And uh, here we go. The first thing you need to do, if you using, if you want to read from the keyboard, make sure because you're using the Java APIs, is to use import. That is Java util. As it says in the website, you can have a look at that one. And the class is called Scanner with capital S. Uh, scanner. And it is. So here is car. Uh, this, if you see this one, this uh, the, it means it's not being used as yet. If you look in here, so it's not being used uh, as yet. So the first thing you do is to create an object of this class in order to read from the keyboard. So you go scanner. This is the class. Create an object of it. Call it any name you want. I'll call it, call it n. Typical object is a new. Scanner uh, and of course goes like that. However, the argument inside here you put capital system s capital s system dot n and it is All right. So I created an object is called n. This I can use n to read from the the keyboard of course i can read uh, strings i can read doubles i can read integers you specify uh, that that one and here uh, for instance they would say uh, would like to read system out uh, print uh, and i'm gonna say for instance ask the user to enter their first name uh, enter your first name All right here it is and uh, i'm going to read so the user is going to put type their names 
uh, in here uh, of course and I'm gonna say to read it so the name is gonna be a string I can define it straight away here string uh, let's call it first first name equal here it is n because n here is n can you see it it's here the object is n dot next don't use next line of course you can use next line it works but sometimes it causes an error just use next it means reading the first first word which is a string in this case uh, then you're going to say for instance ask for their for second name or family name uh, out print uh, enter your family name and it is and of course you're gonna you go read it again uh, in here uh, and I'm gonna say uh, string uh, say last name uh, last name equal n next sorry next uh, and that of course that is going to give me a uh, string is in here so I can say print it out system out print ln and I can say hello and I say first name uh, plus put a space between first name and last name there it is and put last name there it is All right if I run the program of course it's gonna in here uh, it's gonna say it ask for of course there it is say enter your first name which is here I say it's enter first name so it's expecting a string it's called first name so I can put for instance Alan there it is ask me say what is your family name and I can say for instance Jack so of course hit enter what's that going to print it's going to say hello first name which is Alan space then last name is Jack so here it is hello Alan Jack you see red and here that's how we read that's me uh, assume I would like to read uh, an integer and here uh, let me say for ask for the age out print and I'll say how old uh, are you so I'm gonna read the age as an integer so say for instance integer int age equal and it is n and remember n is here this object of a scanner n dot you're gonna say next int because this is int so you have to say next int so it means read integer here right uh, and then uh, for instance assume I, I would say uh, uh, GPA for instance like which is double uh, I can say system out uh, print uh, print for instance uh, and say what is your uh, GPA or a GPA something like that and here and of course GPA we're gonna say double how to read a double uh, of course this is double uh, call it uh, a GPA oops sorry GPA because double I can say n dot next double here it is you see it's double so I'm reading a double uh, in here uh, let me move this one here 
I'll move this right at the end. And let's put everything here. Earth is your name. And uh, then I'm going to say system out print the LN. You are, uh, I'm going to say the age. Uh, put some space after it. Uh, and you can say space years old for instance and then I can say get the GPA system out print LN your a GPA is and I can I put in here is a GPA which is a GPA is this one. I read it as a double. The age, I read it as an integer, and so on. Let's run the program here. There it is. Say, what's your first name? Uh, say, Alan. Uh, Jack, family name. How old are you? Say, I'm. Um, Say 23. Uh, what's your AGPA? Uh, 3.76. So if I run that, it should give me, say, hello, Alan Jack. Here it is, which is here. Hello, Alan Jack. Here it is, hello. Uh, hello. First name, which I read it here. It's last name, which is space between them. Then I read in here the the age is an integer, so I say you are twenty three. See the age twenty three years old. Here's years old. There's a space between them, and then it says your your AGPA, which I read it here, is three point seven six. That concludes how you read from the keyboard. Just a quick recap. On this, remember, you create an object of the class scanner. In order to use a scanner, remember, you have to import. Here it is. You have to import Java Util Scanner as an API, and then uh, you can read. If you want to read, if you want to read the whole line, you can say. If you want the whole line, you say next. And of course, you can say next line. That's give you a string. If you want to read only one word, as in our case in here, of course, say next. Next it means a string in here. So the first name and family name is a string as well here. Uh, for the age, if I want, I say next end, of course, to read an integer. And if I read double, I can say obviously next. Double. Let's conclude the first part of the Java APIs and how you read from uh, the keyboard.